the safety of children playing on your play place equipment is a top priority. So let's cover a few safety items before starting the cleaning procedures. The environment must be inspected on a daily basis. Make sure the following measures are in place to provide a safe play environment for children. Be sure that the nets, including web crawls, are free of holes, tears, or cuts. Contained play place equipment must be secure, stable, and free of missing parts. Windows and domes must be securely in place and free of missing parts. All zippered and gated entrances to restricted areas must be locked and secure. Electrical power sources must be inaccessible to customers and free of exposed wires. At the play place unit entrances and exits, including slide exits, the safety surface in the use zone must be clear of any objects such as seating and decor. If you find a problem related to any of these items, remove children from the play place structure, close the play place immediately, and notify your manager of the issue so it can be resolved. The appearance and cleanliness of your play place equipment serves as another area where customer impressions count. We should always be mindful of our goal to provide a clean, safe, and fun environment for our customers and their family. This training video will teach you the proper procedures for cleaning and sanitizing your play place equipment and components. For restaurants with separate toddler equipment, interactive games, or additional equipment, the daily wash, rinse, and sanitize procedures should be performed. Let's start by talking about the frequency or when you should clean your play place. The cleaning requirements are broken down into three specific times. Spot cleaning throughout the day, daily cleaning, and weekly detailed cleaning. Before you begin spot cleaning, the first step is check that you have the correct cleaning products and tools for the job. The cleaning products and tools you will be using include K Solid Sense All-Purpose Super Concentrate, APSC, K Solid Sense Sanitizer Solution, K Graffiti Remover, and a clean sanitizer soaked towel. All high traffic areas in your play place must be spot cleaned throughout the day. Equipment surfaces should be inspected frequently during each shift to check for food spills and soils, gum residue, trash, and overall cleanliness. To begin spot cleaning, spray the soiled surface with APSC solution. Then wipe with a clean sanitizer soaked towel. Pay special attention to handrails, slide entrances and exits, doorknobs and handles, tables, seating, and other high contact areas. To remove tough stains and scuff marks on all play place surfaces, spray a power pad with APSC solution and gently buff the area until the spot is removed. For graffiti removal, spray a power pad with graffiti remover, then gently buff away graffiti. If graffiti is scratched in the surface, call your local maintenance service provider to repair. Rinse all surfaces by wiping with a separate clean sanitizer soaked towel. Spray the surface with sanitizer solution and allow to air dry. Remember to check the play place area frequently throughout the day and clean up any trash or spills as they occur. For the daily cleaning procedure, you will need the following cleaning products and tools. K Solid Sense All-Purpose Super Concentrate, APSC, Solution. K Solid Sense Sanitizer Solution. K QSR Glass and Multi-Surface Cleaner Solution. K Solid Sense Floor Care A and B. Clean Sanitizer Soaked Towels. A Deck Brush, Broom, and Dustpan. A Non-Abrasive Pad. An Extension Pole with Cleaning Pad a clean mop, bucket, and wringer, a wet floor sign, and a wet dry vacuum. To perform the daily cleaning procedure, pick an off-peak time during the day. Close the area and inspect the play place and components thoroughly before you begin cleaning. Check all surfaces from top to bottom, inside and out. Remove and discard any debris in a trash receptacle. A wet dry vacuum can be used to pick up dirt and debris in hard to reach areas, like cracks and crevices. Clean the inside and outside of all surfaces and components by spraying surface with APSC solution and wiping with clean, sanitizer-soaked towels. You should never use heavy-duty degreaser solution or paper towels on dome windows as surfaces may become damaged. 
Rinse all surfaces by wiping with a separate, clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Spray inside and outside of all surfaces and components with sanitizer solution and allow to air dry. Clean the sneaker keeper with APSC solution and wipe with a clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Rinse all surfaces by wiping with a separate, clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Spray surfaces with sanitizer solution and allow to air dry. If your play place has a toddler area, clean surfaces using the same wash, rinse, and sanitize procedure. Spray the soil surface with APSC solution and wipe it with a clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Rinse the surface with a separate, clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Spray the surface with sanitizer solution and allow to air dry. Discard towels into the soiled towel bucket after each use. For cleaning windows and glass areas and tables and chairs in the play place area, follow the standard decor cleaning procedures. To clean the floors in your play place, start by sweeping or vacuuming up any debris on the floor. Place a wet floor sign in area to be cleaned. Next, at the mop sink, fill up a mop bucket, or if available, fill up the scrub and go floor scrubber with fresh hot floor care solution and take to the play place area. Ring out the mop and then damp mop floors, including rubber floors, using a figure eight pattern. Vacuum up the remaining liquid on the floor using a wet dry vacuum. Be careful not to allow liquids to soak through the flooring materials. Doing so may cause a mold and odor problem. When the floors are completely dry, remove the wet floor sign. By consistently following the daily spot cleaning and the daily cleaning procedures, your play place will provide a clean and safe environment for your customers. But to keep your play place in optimal condition, you will need to perform the weekly detailed cleaning procedure. This procedure should be performed at least once a week. If your play place receives heavy traffic, the weekly procedures may need to be performed more frequently. If any safety or equipment maintenance issues are observed, bring them to the attention of your manager. Let's go over the products and tools you'll be using for this procedure. You will need K Solid Sense All Purpose Super Concentrate, APSC solution, and a spray bottle. K Solid Sense Sanitizer solution. K QSR Glass and Multi Surface Cleaner solution. K Solid Sense Floor Care A and B. Sanitizer Soaked Towels. Deck Brush, Broom, and Dustpan. Non Abrasive Pad. Extension Pole with Cleaning Pad. Clean mop, bucket, and ringer, a wet floor sign, and a wet dry vacuum. For the Play Place weekly detailed cleaning, you will use the same wash, rinse, and sanitize process that you learned in the daily cleaning procedure. We will also cover specific cleaning tasks that are only performed weekly. To begin the weekly detailed cleaning procedure, first remove the foam pads from junction boxes and take back to the three compartment sink. Wash, rinse, and sanitize all surfaces of the pads. Place the pads on their sides and allow to air dry. Return to the play place and thoroughly clean the inside and outside of the junction box by spraying surfaces with APSC solution and wiping with clean, sanitizer-soaked towels. You should never use heavy-duty degreaser solution or paper towels on dome windows as surfaces may become damaged. Rinse all surfaces by wiping with a separate, clean, sanitizer-soaked towel. Spray the inside and outside of junction box with sanitizer solution and allow to air dry. After the interior of the junction box and the foam pads are completely dry, reinstall pads. Discard towels into the soiled towel bucket after each use. For high places, dust the exterior of the play place and components using a clean, dry pad and an extension cleaning pole. Never stand on a ladder to clean your play place. Spray the cleaning pad with APSC solution to clean high places or hard to reach areas on the exterior. Allow surfaces to air dry. To clean the safety flooring in your play place, start by sweeping or vacuuming up any debris on the floor. Then place a wet floor sign in area to be cleaned. Next, at the mop sink, fill up a mop bucket or if available, fill up the scrub and go floor scrubber with fresh hot floor care solution and take to the play place area. Ring out the mop and then damp mop floors, including rubber floors, using a figure eight pattern. Deck brush play place floors, including rubber floors. Reapply for stubborn stains. 
Vacuum up the remaining liquid on the floor using a wet-dry vacuum. Do not allow liquids to soak through the flooring materials. Doing so may cause a mold and odor problem. Remove the wet floor sign after all floors are completely dry. To clean the netting on your play place, spray APSC solution on a non-abrasive pad or clean towel. Use the moistened pad or towel to scrub the soiled areas of the netting clean. Use a clean sanitizer soaked towel to rinse soils and cleaning solution from the netting. Allow the cleaned area to air dry. When should you clean up trash or spills? Trash and spills should be cleaned up as they happen. Where should you not use paper towels or heavy duty degreaser? You should never use heavy duty degreaser solution or paper towels on dome windows as surfaces may become damaged. When can you use a ladder to clean the play place? You should never use a ladder to clean the play place. What should you do if you discover a problem with any of the safety items that we covered? Remove children from the play place structure. Close the play place immediately and notify your manager of the issue so it can be resolved.